it on. Yeah, just enjoying a bit of a ride through uh, the forests in Germany. We've probably only been in the country half an hour. Enjoying some uh, forestry sort of roads. It's good. No speed bumps, which is brilliant. It'll probably take a while to shake that off, I think. And this will give you an idea of how narrow the road is. There we go. We just turned the corner from turning the camera off a minute ago. And we're really in the forest. Looks stunning. Watering the road. That's the way they fix the potholes. Grow the bitumen. <laughs> on. Are we on? We're uh, just heading over the Rhine River for the first time. It's a very cheap copy of the Sydney Harbour Bridge over there. in Berlin I guess We have just turned off the B229 road uh, for our start of our day today being, what, Wednesday we on? Wednesday and uh, just starting to get into the decent roads, a few hills around, a little bit of traffic, not too much, We're starting to understand the road signs a little bit better. <laughs> um, and yeah, the forest looks really good. And my screen is green. Which means a lot more forests and hills for us to run through. Which is good because it's going to be quite warm today. It's already, already feeling quite warm in the valley, but uh, it's nice in the hills here. Um, yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, we've got a big day ahead. 350 kilometers or 370 when we first started. We've had our morning coffee and uh, yeah, we're ready for a good long stretch today. Hopefully the roads will be good. Okay, yeah, nice blue skies. On. We've just been forced to go and take a detour. It's actually pushed it on, pushed us onto a road that I would typically uh, choose to travel anyway, because it's a nice winding road through the forest, and uh, it's probably only going to be a short detour. Um, and. Yeah, we can, yeah, as we've come, popped into the forest, the temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. Looks like they've logged all this area a while ago. Yeah. Really nice, nice place, that's for sure. 
got to watch the cars coming the other way or even worse tractors <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we will go right. Someone's re rebuilt themselves a little bridge, looks quite nice. Yeah. Oh, lovely tractor. Yeah, we're now at that Hilfru uh, Hilfringhausen. We're now there, so we just got a little bit further to go. Wow, that's really nice. Stunning place. That'll take us straight out to 236. Look, a New South Wales bridge. Well, in much better condition. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we've just escaped. Oh, here we go. We've got that bike back behind us again. Uh, we, put, we passed this BMW uh, GS who's behind us a little while back and uh, he turned off one way and we went the other, he's back behind us. But, um, road is sensational, just so smooth and uh, a little bit windy and again we're hugging the edge of the forest but it's beautiful there. Yeah? Really nice. Holy shit. Oh, it's a big load of timber. <laughs> wow. Huge. It's a big processing plant that. guys through the uh, the mountains towards Blankenberg in uh, north of Germany the sun's going down and it's probably dropped about 10 to 15 degrees in the last uh, five minutes it's uh, very cool got a stream stream running beside us but uh, we've endured hours of uh, detours. Uh, each we've probably done about three detours, and each one would have been at least 20 kilometres long. Uh, it was huge. Uh, anyhow, uh, we're enjoying we're enjoying the last uh, probably 30 kilometres up to the hotel for tonight. The only thing about putting the center stand on this bike is that uh, it scrapes on the left-hand corners when you uh, lean a bit too far. Good morning, welcome to Thursday, I guess. Uh, 
there's uh, oh there's that cafe fortune right up the top of that bloody hill <laughs> yeah we 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 stayed yeah we stayed halfway up the hill and uh, it was okay it was alright uh, we're in a nice spot but yeah bed for the night see the stream in there just uh, bubbling away beside us it's very pretty uh, yes that does have trout and uh, I'm sure you can go and rent your uh, trout fishing gear from them uh, but yeah beautiful spot we have a bit shorter day today somewhere around 300 kilometers just under I think uh, if we go right to the end but at lunchtime we'll make an assessment and uh, if we want to push further we will if we don't we'll find a camp spot or a hotel and uh, that'll be it having spent the night at a Fleming campground we're now uh, on our way heading towards Potsdam and Berlin supposedly there's a big fire uh, outside of Berlin in the forest probably near where we're going so we'll be keeping an eye out for uh, redirections and whatnot again today and uh, the police ammunition dump seems to have gone up in flames as well which would have been exciting to see and that's about it Okay, we're just pulling to Berlin after much heavy, heavy traffic, which almost saw us turn around and head elsewhere. But uh, it thinned out for some reason, and uh, we're just heading into the city now. Try and do a bit of a drive by of some of the major items of tourism interest, and uh, we'll see what we do from that point. I'm in a police sandwich, so we've got police behind, police in front. Not as many tourists as the uh, Arc de Triomphe. Still green, all good. And I'm going to come across. with the Brandenburg Gate which is a half of a roundabout and I should be in the left lane but what? Oh I will now and now you can get a front row photo <laughs> the Hotel Adlon which I think is just like one or two stores down it was in a uh, Liam Neeson movie um, forgotten or fig ah yeah 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 there you go so that's what the movie was centered around there I can't see any lanes so I'll just stay on the right I want to go right here. Yeah, see right here is the actual checkpoint is in front of us. This is why there's so many people here. Photo, photo. Get a photo of that. Are you able to? Come on. Yeah. Did we manage one? Yeah. Was I recording? Yeah. Cool. Uh, 
and we've just had a quick little drink break at Macca's and uh, heading towards the Czech border we're not too sure what's going to happen when we get there if they'll let us through with uh, the um, COVID vaccination documents that we have because we never received them uh, when we went to France we thought we'd just push our way through so we'll see what happens the roads have been pretty nice and we've got lots of nice hills around too Finally we are heading towards the hills. Trying to keep to these speed limits is probably the biggest challenge of the lot. I have had at least two flashes, but hoping they're just front faces and many detours around. Bakery. Mm. Yeah, we've had a couple of extra failed stops because the restaurants and cafes around the place don't open until 12. It's uh, very annoying getting all your gear on and off and walking up to the door and uh, the people just uh, wave their finger and go, 12. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're 150 k's from Prague, and uh, should be a lot of good riding between here and there because uh, a lot of forests ahead, and we're going to be following uh, some mountain streams for a lot of that. So that'll be good.